Hi, I'm Justin Snedden from the AR team at Niantic, and today I'm going to quickly run you through some changes we've made to the mocking system for ARDK 1.3. Primarily, the differences are that the mocking system now relies on prefabs, so when you use it, it looks for a prefab to spawn into the scene, and you can completely disable it if you don't want mocking to inject anything. Before this, we were using a label. Primarily, this video is to just quickly help you out if you're following any of the other tutorials where we mentioned so how to set up mocking. As it's changed, please follow this guide uh, in order to, to do what you need to do. The first thing you, you want to do is go to the ARDK menu and open up uh, Virtual Studio. I tend to just dock this, but you can put it wherever you like. And you'll notice there's this mocking tab now. So you click on that and it, it has a configurator for how to do mocking. Uh, in here, there was the drop down which should show any available prefabs that you can use to inject for mocking. So you can make many of them, save them, and select the one you want to use for your particular scene or, or to test with. Uh, when you hit refresh, it'll search for more. Obviously, there's none here at the moment. We have two options. We can either make one ourselves, so build, build some geometry, mark it up as mock, and make, turn it into a prefab, and then it'll show up. Or we can actually uh, pull down a package that is on the portal that already has some in it. So I'll just import those so that you can see them now. So you go import package, and then you select the, the mocking packages that you've downloaded. Um, sorry, it's just gone to another screen quickly, and you'll get this package that has a, a couple of things in it that you can pull in. So if I import that, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, there we go, and then I hit refresh here there'll be a selection of different things. So for example, if I select living room and then I run this scene, it's going to in inject that uh, prefab that, it, that is, is already there. So there's a few assets, it's a nice looking room, it's already been made and it's there and it's saved and you can refer to it uh, and use it however you'd like. It's, it's injected it for you. Um, the other one that's in the, uh, there is a, a park sequence. So you could select that, run it and it'll load that one. Where you go and you get just, you know, a little, little test sequence for you to use. The other way to do this is to build your own, and that's quite easy as well. So let's uh, let's do that. So in here, uh, normally you can put a single object, or you could make a, a little hierarchy. So that I'll make a hierarchy, and I'll just call this mock. Uh, you can call this whatever you want. It's just an empty. So I'll click back over to the inspector because we want to zero this out. So that's my top node uh, in here, and then let's just add a plane for the ground to start with. So we go 3D object and we'll add a plane. Uh, there we go. And we'll just call this the ground. Because um, we're doing a super simple thing. We just want this big flat quad that we're going to use. And maybe we, we don't want it to be uh, white. So let's just pick one of the, the default materials. Let's make it green. And we'll save that. Now, in order to make this uh, mock prefab, uh, we need it to do two things. Uh, the first one is that we need to add a script to this. So we would go add component to whatever's the root. So if you only had one object, you put it on the object. If you've got a hierarchy, you put it at the top of the hierarchy. And you say that this is a mock scene configuration. This is the script that makes the, the Virtual Studio able to find the, this prefab in your scene. And then if we go down to uh, wherever you want to store it, just drag the the, the the hierarchy that you've made out to make it a prefab. So now Unity knows that's uh, a prefab. You can then delete this from your scene because the, the mocking system through Virtual Studio will uh, automatically pull this in. So if we go to Virtual Studio, we hit refresh to say find any others that have been added and there's the one we've made called mock. So I can select that and run it and there should fire up and uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, sorry. It was, I didn't, uh, it was a bit below the camera, but the, the, the object is there. So if we then open our um, mock sequence again. Um, it's a prefab now, so we, we can edit and change it. As I said, uh, I, um, the ground here is set at zero, which is basically where the camera is spawning in. So I'll just make this minus two, so that it's actually below the camera when the scene starts. And obviously I just edit the prefab and, and save it, and that will all update uh, as normal. So the ground's a bit lower now, uh, so you can see it when you start. And if I throw the ball in, it, hit, it hits, the, hits the plane. So this is the literal very simple example of the ball is a rigid body and this has a collider on it. So it hit the plane, rolled off it and fell off the end. There you go. So that's the mocking system working, the, the various different ways to use it. So uh, the ni nice part about it is you can now make a little catalog of these or, you know, mark up anything you'd, you would like uh, for semantics or any other testing. Store them in a folder for all your different prefabs. So you might want a few different setups, like one for an indoors and outdoors and different places. And you can then, while testing, just go to Virtual Studio and select the one that you want to use for your 
your particular uh, test case. So, for example, changing back to one of the ones that comes from the package, which is uh, you know a very small park sequence, which has a few um, bits and pieces in it. Uh, you can obviously inspect those because it's um, imported them into here. So you can have a look at what's what's in them, the materials that come with them, and the, the, the pieces of geometry and uh, whatnot. Uh, you can pull them apart. So you just open them as a prefab like I did before, and it just shows you what, what is in here.